Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through my entire planning routine. This is a routine that I complete every single Sunday in my planner in order to set me up for the very next week. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna get started in my catch-all planner. This is an undated life planner that I created, and I use this planner as an overview for my my entire schedule. With this planner, I don't add many stickers. So this week I'm just going to use some flower stickers from the Happy Planner. And I'm also just going to use some of my colorful boxes from my shop. I just like to keep this one pretty simple because I write a lot on this particular planner. And I like to have a lot of white space in case I need to add all of my to-dos and my appointments. I like to use colorful boxes to highlight different things that are happening on a particular day. It's a way to kind of draw my eyes to that particular event. It could be an appointment, a meeting, a YouTube video that is scheduled to go up. So having these colorful boxes throughout my spread automatically draws my eyes to that spot and lets me know the important things that's going on. I also keep track of everything that's going on in the very next week on my sidebar. So I have this empty space here that lets me know everything that's coming up in the next week. So I usually will put there my social media posts or what I am planning on posting that next week, which classes I am planning on preparing because I can start to outline and get ready in the current week for the the next week and then I don't have to do all of that on the weekends. So along with social media posts, I will also add any appointments that are scheduled the next week or any client calls that I may have. I like to keep all of this on my sidebar because it's basically like a pre-planning section. And then when next week comes up, all I need to do is look at my sidebar and see what I have planned. And it makes it much, much easier to add different things to my planner. So my catch-all planner is the most important planner I have. This is the one that keeps me on track. It keeps me on schedule. I like to time block my day. I like to add in every single thing that's going to happen. And this is the planner that lets me know the important tasks that I need to get completed. So what I will do is add in all of the different things that I have scheduled at different times. And then the things that don't have a specific time, but they are super important and I need to get them done will go at the very top of my day. So as you can see, I'm writing in the tasks that don't have a set time, but they need to get done on that day. And then as I'm going throughout my day, I will reference the top of this planner, like this very top section, to see when I can schedule in the different important tasks that I want to get completed. So another thing that I like to do is write in when I'm going to complete my routines and when I need to reference another planner. So as you can see in the morning at 7 a.m., I am usually in my home planner doing some type of cleaning in the house. And at 8 a.m., I am completing my planner routine. So I have one hour that is set toward doing different things in the house. And then I have another hour that is set toward my planner routine where I am looking at everything that I need to do throughout the week in my planners. So this helps me kind of stay on track and make sure that I'm referencing my planner at least in the morning. And then I try to do the exact same thing in the evening. And that's it basically for this setup for my catch-all planner. As the week goes on, of course, I fill out much, much more. And then I'm always writing with my red pen to write in everything that has been adjusted. The next planner that I am going to is my social media planner. So I am back in the dashboard happy planner big for my social media planner. And I am just writing in currently what I posted this past week because I didn't get a chance to set this one up for the month of March. So I'm doing that really quick. And then I am going to actually set up this week. 
So this week in this planner, I'm not going to use many stickers. I am just going to use my colorful boxes. And these are the stickers from my shop in order to cover up the headers and create my own. In this planner, I do like to keep track of the different things I want to film, the classes that I would like to host or teach for that particular week. And at the very bottom, I do like to keep track of my posting checklist to YouTube. As you guys know, for creators out there, there are so many different things that you need to do in order to post videos to YouTube. And having this grid box at the very bottom of my planner where I can check off the different things that I have done for a video makes it super, super helpful in making sure that I stay on task and on track. The other thing that I like to keep on here is my daily routine, making sure that I am answering YouTube comments, I'm checking my email and things like that. So I will keep that in one of these boxes as well, just to make sure that I am answering as much as I possibly can each day of the week. And then on the other side, I keep track of my statistics at the very top and I'm just keeping track of YouTube and Instagram, my numbers, making sure that you guys are liking the videos and watching them. And throughout the week, I am just keeping track of all of my to-dos, anything that I need to post or a schedule to post for Instagram or YouTube. I keep this one pretty simple, but it does really help me stay on track with everything that I want to do for social media. The third planner is my personal planner, and this one is set up pretty similar to my social media planner. I also just use colorful boxes, except we are now in the home and the health section of my planner. So I use my personal planner in order to stay on track with everything that is going on with my health and everything that is going on with my home. On the left side of the planner, I am keeping track of my home items. So this is the different things I need to clean, to buy, to organize, and to do. And then on the right side of the planner under the days of the week, I am keeping track of all of my health items. So did I work out that day? The water, my weight, I will track my weight. And then I will also keep track of what I ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I do that every single day of the week. And that's just to kind of maintain any type of pain management or keep track of my health overall. After I've set that one up, I will move into my budget planner. My budget planner is another undated planner that I created. And with this one, I am keeping track of all of our money in three different accounts, my spending account, my bill account, and my business account. At the beginning of every single month, I will set up this planner to be set up for the entire month, meaning that I will lay out every single paycheck that I am expecting for every single week. And then I will um, already have it in my planner and ready to go. But as the weeks come up, I do like to keep track of my current balance that is in each one of these accounts. And I use expense trackers in order to do that. So as you can see, I'm pulling out a new expense tracker for this week. I will roll over the balance from last week to this one so that I can constantly keep up with my categories and what's going in and out. The next planner up is my faith planner and I didn't get a chance to finish the um, verse of the day for each and every day of this past week. So I'm just going to update it and I do this a lot if I don't get a chance to get into a planner because maybe I had a really, really busy day. I will update the planner before I move into the next week because I really do love to see completed weeks. So that's what I'm doing here. and. And with my faith planner, I keep it very, very simple. I will add the verse of the day within um, each day of the week. And then when I am doing a full faith plan, like a plan with me, or I am looking at a particular scripture or reading a specific book, I will add in an additional sheet. So because with my faith planner, I am always doing the verse of the day, there is no setup with this one. 
I am just adding in the different ones that I missed out on and then I will be ready to go for the very next week. Whenever that next week comes up, I will usually write in all of the verses and then I will um, go back and add in stickers after the week is basically over or as I am planning. So this will be it for this one and then when next week comes, I will have a completely blank slate. So another planner I'm usually setting up during this time is my work planner or my church planner, but I'm not going to share that one. I just wanted to mention it because it is another section that I do work on on a weekly basis. I think one day I'll try and do a mock one of that one, but I just wasn't prepared to do it this particular week. The last one that I'm going to work on is my reading planner. So with my reading planner, I only update my monthly on a daily basis. And this is me basically writing in everything that I read in the week before. So every single day I try and read something for 20 minutes. And I like to keep track of what I am reading because it does change on a daily basis. Sometimes I'm reading a physical book. Sometimes I am listening to Audible. Sometimes I will catch a magazine or I will read a really interesting article on Google. And I do like to keep track of those things because I have um, an annual goal of reading at least 24 books every single year which means I need to read at least two a month and keeping track in my reading planner really helps me kind of stay on if I'm actually reading or not. So on my daily spreads I will usually jot down something that I've learned that day but on my monthly it's where I am keeping track of every single thing that I have read in a particular week and I really love doing it this way. So guys that's basically it for my planner routine. I will say the one thing that I didn't do in this session that we normally do is my meal planning. That's in my personal section but that's only because I haven't had a chance to talk to my husband yet but I do add that to my monthly calendar. So I did want to mention that. Is there anything else that you do that I didn't do? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to talk to you about it. And also y'all be looking out for Friday's video where I do an in-depth review of my planner as a whole. So I will see you guys then. And until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.